Hi Facebook, Jeremy Otto from Auto Percussion Studio here. Welcome to the second video in my series designed to help parents help their students get more out of music lessons. If you've ever waited for a student at my studio, then you've overheard me saying, if you can't play it slow, you can't play it fast. Accuracy is so much more important than speed when you're learning a new pattern, and speed will come naturally once accuracy takes hold. It stands to reason then that the first step towards improving a difficult passage is to slow it down. Doing this can be surprisingly harder than it seems. Often when I ask a student to slow down, they will start again at the exact same tempo. And they've done it thinking that they've actually slowed down. The key is slowing it down to a level that feels like it is absurdly too slow. It has to be so slow that the student has to pay attention to each individual note as opposed to note groupings. Music is a language, and this is akin to coming up to a hard word when reading and having to sound it out. Break it up into syllables just to get it right. The difference is that rhythm is about how the length of each note relates to each other, and thus you have to slow the entire thing down. Even the parts you can already do. And that's why it feels like it's so slow. But that's the guaranteed way to fix it. So, if your student is struggling with the part, have them slow it down. Make sure they drop it so slow that they think it's too slow. Once they get it, speeding up will happen with ease. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about how slow your student should be taking a particular passage, please send me a message, or of course, we can talk about it at lessons. If you haven't already, please like the page and maybe share this video with others that might find it helpful. Thanks again. Let's hit it.